Hello, this is Ryan Salazar, also known as RetroRuzuki81. Uh, okay, so yes, I have changed, uh, I've recently changed my YouTube channel from, um, uh, the previous name was uh, Ryohuzuki Kanji, three Kanji characters, uh, you know, like in Japanese, uh, I think I think they were, and uh, and they translated to Cool Banana Moon. Uh, I've yet to uh, really understand more of what that means, and uh, you know, kind of like uh, Make Mac Tonight. Yeah, everyone ever hear of Make Mac Tonight in the '80s? Yes, it's an older uh, uh, commercial or whatnot, and it's like a moon. Uh, it's like a half moon, and it's uh, he's got sunglasses. You know, like imagine me with sunglasses and playing a piano. Now, I have had a keyboard in my past. Uh, I don't really intend on like, a, <laughs> let's say, uh, you know, pursuing keyboard or uh, piano really much, but um, I don't have intentions of it really at all. Uh, even though that was uh, given to me from my family, I actually uh, don't have much interest in that uh, part of music. But uh, one thing I do have interest in uh, still is the traditional ways I used to be, uh, martial arts, karate, fitness, like good healthy lifestyle um friends family important things in life uh now let's say i have a friend or a family member in my family or, or friend group or circle and i don't think i can trust them sometimes they're out they're not in my circle they're not part of my group and uh and then in that regard um i just don't trust some people like that uh but maybe it's more than one person maybe it's everybody maybe everybody i can't trust um if you take for instance my teeth are yellow kind of yellow i'm not really well living a good life right now in michigan but uh i intend to uh live much better uh the way the reason i failed to get to the uh maybe the dentist is because of something insane in my life or not something not just not right you know like uh maybe it's more maybe it's less maybe it's uh something not not um that i'm not really wanting to say but um in the end i'm always ruhuzuki actually as a man of speaking because um and because certain reasons i think there's reasons i'm uh, some kind of special person in life uh, maybe it's some family history that I, I'm not really aware of. Um, that's something more uh, interpersonal about my relatives or past, maybe. Perhaps. I, I don't really know. Um, now, um, damn. See how I said, damn. You know, I don't I mean, I can't really explain Shenmue. It's something that people have to figure out. Um... When I say you have to figure it out, um, ah, good. Maybe some of this is, uh, you know, that I, things I do, I, I don't just do it, like, uh, to imitate something that I've seen online for the first time, uh, because what it could really be, something more correlated, and, uh, there's not really, uh, you know, any real way to explain my explain uh, how I correlate the Shenmue or some other video game, unless I can uh, officially have the copyrights and the royalties for what I've done in the fight choreography of those video games. Like so let's say I have been claiming since 1995, I've done the fight choreography for Shenmue. Now that's not officially written in stone in copyrights or. Uh, or, or do I have the royalties? I've never claimed it. I've never, um, well, I mean, I've been through some things in my life and I've lost my memory uh, according to some crazy as hell problems I've been through. But, um, you can take for instance the song Undead Noid. According to Shemu, what does that mean? 
And what according to not just not really Shema, but let's let's rephrase that. According to life, what does that mean? Undead noid. And if Ryuzuki were, were was a real person or is a real person, what does the term undead noid mean to you? Undead meaning not dead. The the word noid, I want everyone to realize and know. Noid means a uh, notice of intention, or you could say notice of intent to deny. Now, would we deny Ryuzuki? Maybe we would, but uh, why? Why would you deny Ryuzuki? Well, uh, I can say what I, I mean, I mean, I can say this, uh, I'm not gonna say. That's what I'm gonna say that I'm not gonna say. I'm gonna say that I'm not gonna say because I'm not gonna reveal everything about the real truth of Shemu that they're not saying Sega's not going to tell you. Uh, all these representatives, these higher up guys in Shenmue, they're not going to tell you these things. You see me on my uh, front porch or my, my sidewalk, whatever, doing this three kick string for Shenmue. Uh, you see me doing that. You see me doing moves that resemble Guizang. Why do you see me doing these moves? Am I just a, a mine from France? I just... You know, I just act like I can do this and I just think I'm Shenmue. I just think I like it. I just think I like it. I just want to be it. Oh, uh, you know, am I that? I'm not like a retarded guy that, that just, you know, like a stupid guy, like a regular person, not calling regular people less than me necessarily, but I don't see myself as a regular guy in a lot of regards. But I want to, to people to understand that I respect character way more than uh, than status like of a say uh, something that says I'm somebody or something status to me first and foremost is character and it's not um, it's not maybe going to a college it's not working only working or only going to college or or then you know whatever I'm claiming is here is like going about being spiritual and as a martial artist, you have to be spiritual first. Um, I mean, I, I've learned this also, and I, I, I actually, I figured it's true. Uh, there's a guy that write, writes a book, um, and he tells me that it's 92 or 98% spiritual being a good martial artist. Um, and yes, he's a very great guy. Um, and you know, so that's, um, it's an author that I actually know in real life, and uh, I'm very honored to know him. <laughs> and you know, it's like uh, like that. So, in essentially knowing the truth of who I, what I've done in my past, and what I'm supposed to be, I am trying to earn and prove royalties. Now, if you look up royalties online, uh, what that means, it's copyrights. Uh, it's, it's descending from copyrights. Now, I've done these moves for Shenmue, and uh, I did them in 1995, okay? While the lighting may not be good in here, I may look kind of ugly, I may look kind of old, I may look different. Uh, I've yet to re rebuild, re 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 redefine my life, my health, my uh, whatever it is, you know, maybe these uh, blemishes in my skin that you may see now, can, can get rid of them with surgery or something. Because if you look at my, the symmetry, the, the symmetry of my face, and uh, you know, all this hairline and that, I know what I can be. And if you see this right here, it's not just meaning Superman. Uh, it's meaning, uh, you know, martial arts, gift, talent. That's actually what, if you study Jean-Claude Van Damme, he's naturally gifted, right? <laughs> I mean, let's, let's just put one and one together, or two and two, to, two and two together. Van Dam naturally he comes into the movie industry. He's uh, he's a gymnast, he's a ballerina dancer. Now, if you do your research online, they claim that he didn't really have a black belt, but he can just do these moves anyway. Um, that's like in his twenties, uh, I believe that he came in sometime. Now, when he came in to uh, the martial arts movie film industry. 
What did he do? He just did this move. Just do it like Nike. See how he wears Nike and Kickboxer 1? Uh, I did the same thing in karate class because I liked him. I liked him a lot. I always watch Van Damme movies, uh, Kickboxer 1, 2 with Sasha Mitchell. Um, and then I used to also watch... Uh, uh, okay, those the, the good one, the, the good one also with Jean Claude Van Damme is Bloodsport, and that's Bloodsport One because they've get, they go on to like up to four or five and, and the sequels. Uh, with the Daniel Bernhardt, um, uh, then maybe they change the actor at some point again. Uh, <laughs> you know how those those uh, uh older uh retro kind of uh 90s you know movies 80s go, it goes like this and like that, and like this and like that, and like this, and uh. You know, I mean, it's 90s, it's 80s. All Even the music kind of correlates to, uh, you know, the past. Uh, when martial arts movies was a big, big, big deal. The big boom of the martial arts from the 80s and 90s was such a trendy thing. Now, um, that being said there, uh, I'm going to conclude this uh, video with... Uh, um, just know, okay, see, I, I speak as these things come to me. I just know that my claims, they're real claims. And even though I'm not officially collecting the copyrights right now, um, maybe I'm short money to to uh, produce, to uh, send them in, to publish them. Cause I, um, I'm not gonna say what, you know, what's going on in my life really, but uh, I am gonna say that uh, I've got something going. And, uh, you know, really, uh, definitely and truly the, the real truth of my history who I am my past is this guy Ryuzuki and I'm also this guy Jen Kazama for my you know and, and Kazuma Kiryu uh, it's the fight career for you okay it's the royalties that I deserve that I've earned uh, and you know I'm making this video to present it because uh, the instructors that I train with they know what they did for me they gave me a degree and even though I misplaced it, uh, I'm not going to say that uh, I didn't do these things, you know? Now, uh, you know, I wanna say this, I, I'm not afraid to do what I'm doing because I'm within my rights. I'm, I'm within my rights, you know? You know uh, uh, all you instructors that you're, you're so cool at Region 5? You know who you are. Yeah, you, you guys know who you are and you know what you did for me. And now to say that's irrelevant, that's 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 not uh, something. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to say because uh, I did it first. These moves for Shemu, I did them first. I showed you guys these moves. Now, I don't know if any of you, one of you four uh, instructors from Region 5 copied my moves and presented this to Sega or something for me. Uh, that I don't know. I don't know if any of you copied my moves and presented them to Bandai Namco. Uh, I'm just kind of guessing here. Um, now, I didn't give you guys permission to do that, if you did. Now, if you collected the copyrights and you made money off of what I've originally done first, um, I mean, who am I to say that uh, that money's not yours? Who am I to say that, uh, uh, you know, you should give it back. That's what I mean to say, that you should give it back. I'm not saying that. I don't want anything back from that. If somebody has claimed my, my royalties or if somebody's claimed my uh, my fight credit already, someone that in Region 5, or if somebody's claimed something I've done, my looks or whatever, I don't want something back from them. I don't want to sue somebody, but uh, I know how the law works in that. And I know you guys are real quiet lately. You're not saying nothing, but, uh, you know, potato wedges are potato wedges and uh, bananas are bananas. And if I see you guys buy the bananas or potatoes, uh, I might be somewhere in between that, that not really understanding the lining there uh, because you guys don't say nothing anyway. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's funny because, uh, you know, if the carrots don't come up from the ground uh, before the uh, potatoes, you know, produce in the ground or whatever. Uh, I mean, the carrot, they all stays in the ground. The carrots stay in the ground, the potatoes stay in the ground. Uh, and bananas grow on uh, planktons, uh, you know, palm trees. Now, 
we all would rather be near the palm trees, right? We want the good life. We want the, the paradise. We want everything just given to us. We don't want to just go go out to meet and, and we got to work for it and pay for it ourselves. Do we all want that? Like, I mean, I mean, it's good to work and it's great to work. I mean, I could work so hard outside all day and, and just, just pick up things and crap and, and, you know, and it makes me, you know, it might stress my body. It might affect my looks or whatever. But uh, if I earn royalties, they're mine. I mean, I'm, I might be paying for somebody's car. I might be paying for somebody's house. I might be paying for somebody's lunch or a meal or somebody's diamond ring they're giving their girlfriend or wife. I mean, my God, I might be engaging people with my royalties for Shenmue, for, uh, for Tech and Jin Kazama. I know this is me, you guys. Now, you guys had better understand and I'm telling I'm telling you what to do. I don't give a crap if you're officers of the law. Give me a break, man. You call yourself police and reputable police officers? Do you honestly think do you honestly think I think you're reputable police officers? Or do you honestly think you're reputable good men and you're denying my royalties? you 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 would deny my royalties. You would deny my uh me. You would not respect me for what I've done for you and I did it for you too but now you know and I think you remember that you just did make your words clear to me now if, um, if it's going to come back to me well it is what it is and when it is what it is um, it's just said like that it's just that so uh, why, why bother uh, you know I mean I, I'm, I'll tell you what if I'm not welcome at Region 5, okay, um, well, that's messed up. That's screwed up. That's messed up. And really, your administrators are not as good. They're not as good as I am. They're not as, they're not as prominent as I am. Okay, I'll put it that way. You're not a prominent person like me. I am Ruizuki from my degree. You're not prominent. You're not as good as me. I'm better than you because I earn this respect. I'm Ryu Hazuki, and I'm better than you. I'm way better than you. I always will be, I always was. I'm better than you if I'm Jin Kazama. You made me this. You wanted me to be somebody. You wanted me to be this, so I'm better than all of you guys. All four of you guys, I'm better than you, but I don't wanna say that. I wanna come down below your level and, and kinda of come to terms with that. I don't wanna be that really, but I do wanna be that I want to kind of go both ways. It doesn't mean I'm a fag. It doesn't mean I'm a, I don't mean to say fag. That's a, you know, it's not Cali talk, but I'm here in Michigan. You see, I, I've never even been to California yet. Now this is a problem because uh, being from Michigan and Detroit, I've worked all my life. But what did I get? Where's my royalties? Okay. I don't want to just have to like, you know, come to you guys and say this on, online. And I hope you're watching. I hope one of your girlfriends that you have, you know, I know you got thousands of them from being, you know, raised into the martial arts accordingly. as so it's just that I've earned my respect. You know it, you know it. And I know you know it, but, uh, it has yet to be availed availed and I'm availing it on my YouTube channel Retro Ruzuki 81 now uh, I'm not trying to just rub it in rub it in and like make it make, make somebody feel terrible and bad but I have to say this I have to come forth and say the truth because I earned my royalties I earned my respect and I wanted to get these royalties also so the reason I, let me say this, uh, to my first teacher in karate, I came to you and I asked you to do this for me. And the reason I did was because I wanted to be a martial arts movie actor, like this guy right here, like that guy. See that? Like this guy. I do this stretching all the time. Uh, that's why I came forth to my first teacher and asked him to do this for me. And now, any potatoes, hot potatoes, hey, hot potatoes are awesome, aren't they? You know, like uh, anything growing, anything with a strong root 
is very, I respect the strong roots of plants, of trees, of, uh, of people, of, of animals. They might have a strong root. That's very important in karate, actually, if you think about it. And it's very important in life for your livelihood to, to survive, to have willpower, to not let the fire die. But the root of the problem is not necessarily a problem unless, uh, you know, we've got something else going on, you know, that we don't really know about, okay? Now, between the lines, you know what I'm talking about, and I know what I'm talking about. This is Retro Rizuki, 81.